In this lesson, we're going to talk about solving problems with parallel lines. Parallel lines are like the opposite of a rom-com because no matter what happens, these lines will never meet or cross paths. They always remain the same distance apart. But while these two lines won't cross paths, we cannot say the same about transversals, which intersect with parallel lines and cause all kinds of new angles. So much for an uncomplicated relationship. In geometry, a transversal is a line that passes through two lines in the same plane at two distinct points. In simpler terms, for the purposes of the ACT, a transversal is usually a line that cuts across two parallel lines, like in this picture. Let's talk about a few more basics. In geometry class, you learned about many angles in parallel line systems that are congruent. For example, alternate interior and alternate exterior. Using alternate interior and alternate exterior angles tends to create errors, especially if a problem involves multiple transversals. So here's a pro tip. When solving ACT problems involving parallel lines, the two safest and most error-free congruencies to use are opposite angles and corresponding angles. Opposite angles are easy to identify because they are created by the same two intersecting line segments. Also easy to ID are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are safe to use because they're easy to identify. They're all pointed in the same direction and they have the same shape. Notice that in this drawing, all of the green angles are bigger than 90 degrees. These angles are also corresponding. Notice that they're all pointed in the same direction and are shaped the same. These angles are less than 90 degrees. Now, let's use this information to solve ACT problems involving parallel lines cut by a transversal. In the figure below, parallel lines L and M are intersected by line T. What is the degree measure of A? The answer choices are F, 9, G, 18, H, 36. J, 72, and K, 144. Let's underline the facts and circle the keywords. We'll then label our answer choices A, since we're looking for the degree measure of A. Let's circle A in the drawing, which is the angle that we're solving for. Since lines L and M are parallel, we can use corresponding angles to find A. Remember, corresponding angles look like steps on a ladder, where the angles are shaped the same and point in the same direction. This corresponding angle is equal to A, so let's label it A as well. Since 4A and A form a line, they must add up to 180 degrees. We can write that as the equation 4A plus A equals 180, which we can rewrite as 5A equals 180. Divide each side by 5. We find that A equals 36, which is choice H. Congratulations! Now that we've solved a problem with one transversal, let's graduate to a two transversal problem. Our question reads, in the figure below, line L is parallel to line M. Transversals T and U intersect at point A. What is the measure of X? The answer choices are F, 40, G, 60, H, 80, J, 120, and K, 140. Let's label them x equals. Since this is a geometry problem, let's circle what we're solving for in the figure, angle x. Since we have parallel lines, we can use corresponding angles to solve this problem. We're told that one angle measures 120 degrees. Since corresponding angles are pointed in the same direction and look the same, we can move along transversal u and determine that this angle is also 120 degrees. So, we've found the measure of the corresponding angle. Now, here's another piece of useful info. All angles that form lines must add up to 180 degrees. So, if this angle measures 120 and these two angles form a line, we know this angle is 60 degrees, which we can label right here. Now, what's the measure of this angle? Well, the measures of all of the angles of a triangle also add up to 180. So we can write an equation to find the measure of the missing angle. 60 plus 80 plus question mark equals 180 degrees. Subtract 140 from each side, and we find that the measure of the missing angle is 40. 
let's put that back into the drawing. Now, we can solve for the measure of x because all angles that form a line add up to, you guessed it, 180 degrees. So, x is 180 minus 40, which equals 140 degrees. Check the answers, and lo and behold, answer choice K is the one. Go ahead, indulge in a sweet treat as a reward for that beast you just conquered. The key takeaway for solving ACT problems involving parallel lines intersected by a transversal is to look for corresponding and opposite angles. Just one more reminder from me to you. You'll find the corresponding angle by moving along the transversal until you find the angle that's shaped the same and pointing in the same direction. That's a wrap on this lesson. Keep calm and carry on. Oh, and make sure you take advantage of all the practice problems we have available for you throughout this course.